today we see if it's possible for the first time ever to throw the ball 100 yards in a Madden game. I know we've tried this out in previous Maddens, but this one might very well be different and let me explain. Not only do we have our contestant Josh Allen's ratings boosted all the way up to 99 across the board, which I guess doesn't really matter the today because he already had 99 throw power, but not only that, now in Madden 22 with the new upgrades to stadium atmosphere and stadium uniqueness, the ball now travels in Denver further than it ever has before just like it does in real life. So with that new improvement to this year's Madden, theoretically, if it works as they say it does, if we play a game in Denver Stadium and get bazooka enabled, we should be able to throw the ball further in this Madden than we ever have ever before. Or maybe we find out today that EA just freaking lied to us. So we're gonna try multiple different things today, see how far you can throw with bazooka enabled versus how far you can throw it if it's not enabled, see how far you can throw it in practice mode versus different stadiums and ultimately see if you can throw the ball 100 yards for the first time ever in Madden with 99 throw power with bazooka enabled and throwing the ball as far as you can in Denver, Colorado. So first thing, gonna head into a practice mode, but before we do so, hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video and if you do, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up. Guys, also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new because if and only if we do hit a million subs by the end of the year, gonna be giving away a total of five next-gen consoles to one of my subscribers and subscribers only, but that's if and only if we do hit that milli mark by the end of the year, so make sure to take that millisecond to take click that subscription button if you have it. And before we do actually head into this practice mode, let's take a quick listen to a word from today's sponsor. I would like to give a massive shout out to Mac Weldon for sponsoring today's video. Guys, I know how it is to be busy. Like, all of us are busy. All of us have a million things we have to do each and every day. So you need to make things easier on you and stop having to think about what to wear and just embrace the radically efficient Mac Weldon daily wear system. The daily wear system is a collection of clothes rooted in smart design made with performance fabrics and built to work together. From breathable t-shirts and polos to stylish button-ups and shorts, underwear and more, Mac Weldon makes it easy for you to dress up for work, leisure, and play or wherever the summer takes you. And oh my god, Mac Weldon shirts have made my life so much easier. I hate so much wasting the time that it takes to find stuff to wear and with their t-shirts, man, I can just literally put them on no matter what I'm gonna do. They're all so comfortable, they're all so slick, no matter what I want to do, Mack Weldon's t-shirts are there to make my life easier. Literally having my products from Mack Weldon has just made things so much easier, not having to waste time figuring out what to wear. And they make it even easier than what you think because all the clothes are designed to work together. Like for example, for the ultimate lazy Sunday, these Ace sweatshorts have modern tailoring and pair perfectly with their ultra soft, ultra upgraded Pima tees. And to make your life easier with Mack Weldon, buy some time this summer with the Mack Weldon in daily wear system. For 20% off your first order, visit MacWeldon.com slash RBT. Once again, that's MacWeldon.com slash RBT and enter promo code RBT to get 20% off your first order. Once again, massive shout out to MacWeldon for sponsoring with the channel for today's video. With that said, let's get into the rest of it. I guess it really doesn't matter at the end of the day, just testing things out here, Texans, that's fine, they'll have a bad defense. And just disclaimer too, I'm trying to do everything possible to get the furthest throw possible, which also means playing on rookie mode, because like, why not, dude? Maybe the ball travels further on rookie mode, who knows, it'll be easier for me anyway. So first bit of business, let's respot this ball all the way back at the one yard line, and basically what this is, is seeing how far you can throw the football in the air with just 99 throw power as the only variable. Now unfortunately in practice mode, I am gonna have to just gauge how far the ball goes but once we get into the actual game it now has the next gen stats that actually shows us there exactly how many yards the ball traveled in the air so first throw we were really about 10 yards back in the end zone about as far back as you possibly can be that ball is going to land at about the 40 yard line so that is roughly a 70 yard throw in the air tried a few more times i mean we don't have any pressure on us so throwing this ball as far as we possibly can that one a little bit further that went about to the 34 yard line so that one right there, so it's about 10 yards back in the end zone, really is about 80 yards. And keep in mind, that's without Bazooka. That is insane, dude. I can't wait to see if we can actually, like, if we can actually get the first ever 100-yard throw in Madden history, I'm the happiest man in the history of the freaking universe, dude. Because theoretically, it should at least be 95 yards. Because Bazooka gives you 15 extra yards to what your normal maximum possible throw distance is. So if we're able to hit the ball here 80 yards, 
with no other variable, that means with Bazooka, that should at least give us 15 extra yards up to a 95 yard throw. And if that's the case, you add some wind at our back, you add the ball traveling further in Denver, we very well might be able to get ourselves the first ever 100 yard throw in the history of Madden. That was on his back foot about 80 yards in the air. Let's get ourselves into an actual freaking game, dude. Am I the only person that always clicks no, especially if you lost the game? So I guess this first game, it really doesn't matter where we play or who we play. I mean, screw it. Why don't we just play a home game for the first one? Test this out. Gonna click random team three times. One, two, three, and how did it go back to the Chargers? There was 31 other options. So I guess since we're here, why don't we just go ahead and make it windy? Hopefully get a decent little wind at our back have that and bazooka maybe we can just do it here don't you have to go to denver to throw the ball 100 yards in the air i'm telling you guys the hardest part of these videos is getting the ball down precisely like at the one yard line i wish it would just automatically be spotted at the one for me but same exact thing as the practice mode just coming out here and just gonna throw the ball as far as i can keep in mind no bazooka no superstar x factor just yet just gonna throw this ball as far as I possibly can with Josh Allen, this ball is going to land? I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to dive and see what the next-gen stats say. It didn't even pop up. What do you mean? Oh, because we didn't even get a freaking first down. Guess with that, we have to do this freaking crap again. Second down and 88 from the one-yard line. About to get pressured. I probably could have waited a little bit longer, so unfortunately, that sucks. All right, this time around... We just chunked the ball as far as we possibly could, and hopefully it actually tells me this time how far we actually threw this ball. It's going to be 60 yards after contact, but how far in the air was this? What do you mean? It didn't even tell us, dude. So once again, I say roughly 8 yards out of the back of the end zone. We throw this ball, and it lands roughly at the 31-yard line. So technically, that's about a 76-77 yard throw. Well, because this game is idiotic, I actually have to go into a franchise mode because for whatever reason, you can't edit superstar abilities out of franchise mode. The fact that Josh Allen doesn't even have a superstar X factor anyway, like, that's so stupid. Like, why are you going to give Josh Allen trust? According to you, he's the only quarterback in the league that has 99 throw power, yet he doesn't have bazooka. Like, that's just so stupid and silly. And keep in mind, too, we can do abilities like pass lead elite that give you increased throw power on bullet precision passes, so we can test that out, too. So now we've given this man bazooka, escape artist, pass lead elite, gun slinger and lofting dead eye but unfortunately we have to trade them from the bills if we want to play in the broncos stadium this game just makes things so stupid like why can i just give them bazooka out of franchise mode i don't know why i even want to include this what could we even get in return for josh allen could we get like von miller like can we get bradley chubb and noah fant like, I feel like this is going to be accepted, for sure. I mean, he's a 99 rated in this franchise. Yeah, that's funny, actually. Oh, my God, bro. It's all these freaking loopholes science has to go through to make a quality video. No, I did not think this video was going to end up with us trading Josh Allen to the Broncos. But, hey, sometimes science takes you to unexpected places. But now we should finally be set. I just want to get the thing over with. Test this out. 99 stats across the board. He has all the abilities he needs. Bazooka, pass lead elite, gunslinger, and even lofting Deadeye to give him perfect accuracy and keep in mind this is on rookie in arcade mode too you better throw this 5,000 yards bro for the amount of freaking trouble i had to go through joshua so two more things we're gonna test out we're actually gonna play the week one game and just test things out here since there's no crazy altitude and just get that bazooka enabled and see if we can actually throw the ball 90 yards without playing in denver so all we really need is one completion then we should have bazooka enabled here this is probably gonna be a touchdown first play i mean that is a laser 30 yard line actually was caught closer to the 25 yard line i really hope next gen stats actually gives us what we want i want at least 90 yards in the air here at least next gen stats come on completed air distance looks like it's gonna be 70 there's no way hold the freaking phone okay now it says 79 completed air distance yards which one is it so if that was 79 that should mean once we get bazooka enabled it should go more than 90 yards in the air bros this really could be the year might be a stinker of a start but i want to have a great finish so what we're gonna do here receive the kickoff in kj hamler let's get the ball out of bounds at the one yard line again and we should technically have Josh Allen's bazooka enabled, which should allow us to throw the ball about 90 yards down the field of everything. Why doesn't he have 
Fazuka enabled. I guess he does. It just doesn't have the red X under his body, but it does say max throwing distance is increased. Where's the red X? Anyways, I, I, like, where is it? That's, that's so weird. Threw the ball as far as I freaking could. It didn't even seem like it went any further. So that ball was thrown pretty freaking far. We're gonna catch that one on a dime, but I don't quite think it went as far as we expected it to. I mean, to be fair, I do think we had a little bit of pressure, but hopefully next gen stats gives us some good news. At least maybe 85 yards in the air. I mean, we were pretty deep into the end zone there. I mean, we were pressured to be fair, but this ball goes, it looks like it says 70 yards in the air and then it just like goes away. It like maxes out at 70. It doesn't tell us what it actually was. There it is, 86 yards in the air. Why is that next gen stat screen so screwed up? Why can't you just tell me the first time? So, so far we've thrown the ball 86 yards in the air. With as much time as we can in the pocket. That one, I mean, to be fair, it's at the 25 yard line again. We're gonna score. But I again think that's roughly, what, 86 yards in the air? So maybe 86 is the max, unless you're actually playing in Denver. And if it doesn't go further than 86 yards in the air in Denver, EA Sports lied to us. But at least at the end of the day, 86 yards in the air is further than what we could throw the ball in previous Maddens. I think the max distance before was like 75 yards. So once again, this is going to max out at 70 yards. But once we go to the next screen, hopefully it can give us some good news. 86, 87, 500 yards in the air, 86 yards. Hopefully that's that's not the max and it's just glitched because if we look here it looks like we were roughly I mean what's that about six yards into the end zone and the ball is going to land at precisely what's that the 23 yard line so to be fair 86 yards is about right and I think now we're gonna super sim the rest of this game and last but not least finally see if we can throw this ball 100 yards in Denver gotta simulate to week three against the Jets so we can actually play a home game in our home stadium and I was gonna laugh if we lost to the freaking Jags moment of truth boys home game in Denver we've had the ball travel 86 yards in the air not in Denver so if it doesn't go any further than 86 yards in this video EA Sports just lie. Gonna go ahead, KJ Hamler, run this ball out of bounds, one yard line, and we're gonna be able to see. This is it, boys. If like it doesn't happen here, this thing is impossible. Can you throw a 100 yard pass in a Madden 22 in the air? Cortland Sutton is gonna be the man we try to throw this football to. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We don't have Bazooka yet. That was very anticlimactic. And that went about where we expected. But after this, we should have Bazooka enabled. I am curious, though, how far this went. Because you probably could take this number and then add 15 to it. Because that's what Bazooka is supposed to do to your maximum throw distance. But it didn't look that much different than before. So according to Next Gen Stats, without Bazooka enabled, that ball went 79 yards. So we should get 15 extra yards added to that. We should have this going 94 yards. I just know EA Sports has had themselves an absolute stinker if this once again goes 86 yards in the air because that means they just don't care about life. Now, here it is. Start that dramatic music. The most important play in the history of Madden Science, Bazooka, in Denver, with the altitude, rookie difficult, arcade mode, 99 throw power, all the abilities in the world. How far can you throw the football in Madden 22? I think that went about like the same as every single other one. If this says it went 86 yards again, I'm cutting my weenus off. Just don't be a stinker. Just don't be a stinker. I'll even take 87 yards in the air. Come on, next-gen stats. Don't have us... You see right there, it says game day factors. Max passing and kicking distances are now increased. <laughs> Obviously, they're freaking not, dudes. I'm throwing this ball as far as I can. I mean, that was pretty far, to be fair, but I don't know how far. That actually might be further than the prior few passes. I really do think, for whatever reason, that one went a little bit further. I'm actually sort of excited. No stinker, please. Yo! <laughs> Let's go! 94 yards in the air! That's a huge W, boys! Holy crap! I thought for sure that was about to say 86 yards! So we literally just threw the ball 94 yards in the air with Josh Allen! Holy crap! Give it time. Give it time. There it is! I think that's about the same. That might have actually... 
I think that went about 93 yards, roughly 93 yards in the air. That's still insane. I just don't quite know if we can make it to that 100 yard mark. But at least we've broken the all time record and thrown the ball 94 yards in the air in a Madden game, which is exactly what I projected earlier when I told you guys. 79 yards is what the max throw distance was without Bazooka. You add 15 to that. Look at that, 94. I'm a mathematician. And precisely 93 yards in the air. That's still a dub. All right, boys, trying this this one final time. I think 94 as a projected is going to be the maximum distance. Not quite 100 yards, but boys, pretty freaking close. The closest we've ever gotten. One final time and a back up to the one yard line. I mean, I know we're getting pressured a little bit there. And it's going to be actually... Ooh, that might tie it at 94 again, but I don't quite think you can get much further than that. But it's still a massive dub. I just don't get why it can't tell you there. Why does that max out at 70? And then 15 seconds later, it tells you the actual number. And it's going to be 93 again. I think the maximum throw distance is 94 in Madden 22. Let's see if you guys can beat it. If you got through that without falling asleep, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video if you haven't. If you want to watch more, you can click the screen to watch my previous video. The other one is a video YouTube thinks you would like. Make sure to check out all my other channels. Link in the description box below. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz, and become a channel member if you haven't. Got a TikTok too. Just click subscribe and follow on all those accounts. Takes you two seconds.